Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. In today's episode, let's take a look at how to create simple looping music in GarageBand. So today, let's look at an excerpt from my book, The MacMost.com Guide to Switching to the Mac. Chapter 20 is about GarageBand and starts off by teaching you how to create some simple looping music. The most basic use for GarageBand is to use the built-in music loops to make a piece of music. You'll do this by overlaying different loops, drums, bass, guitar, and so on. When you first launch GarageBand, you'll be given some choices as to how to start. Choose Loops in the Project window. Look to the right for the Loop Browser. It should be a collection of buttons. If you don't see it, you can choose Control, Show Loop Browser. Click on All Drums to narrow it down a bit. A list will now appear under the buttons. Scroll down and find Jazzy Rock Drums 07 and click once to preview it. Click and drag Jazzy Rock Drums 07 to the center area of GarageBand. This creates a track and place of the music loop in it. Drag the loop so it is all the way to the left. In the bottom toolbar, click on the Turn Cycle Region on or off button. It is to the right of the Play and Move Ahead buttons and has a symbol that looks like a circle with two arrows. Now you should see a yellow bar appear at the top of the center area. This represents the area that will loop. You can drag it the end of the Cycle Region to make it larger or smaller. Back in the Loop Browser, click on the Reset button. Then click on the Base button. You will now see a list of bass loops. Click the large play button at the bottom of the window or click the space bar to start the music playing. You should hear the drum loop play over and over. Select any bass loop in the list to hear it against the drum loop. Continue to try different bass loops. Select Cool Upright Bass 13. Drag it into the center area just under the drum loop. It should create a second track. Hover your cursor over the upper right corner of the Cool Upright Bass 13 loop in track 2. You should see a cursor change to a circle arrow. Now you can click and drag the end of the loop to extend it. Double its length so that it is the same length as the first track. Reset the Loop Browser again and this time click the Guitars button to see the list of guitar loops. Narrow it down further by clicking the Relaxed button as well. You can click play or the space bar and sample the guitar loops over your current song. When you're done with that, click and drag Classic Rock Steel 01 to the center area below the second track to create a third track. Now let's adjust the sound levels of each track. Use the small volume controls in each track to raise or lower the sound. Lower the sound of the drums slightly and the bass about halfway. You can continue to add more loops if you like, but you get the idea. You can also get more music loops by purchasing collections from Apple and some third party vendors. And that's just the first four pages of the chapter. The rest of it goes into more detail about how to change notes in some of the loops, how to change the sounds of instruments, record your own instruments and voice, even do things like make ringtones using GarageBand. But the ability to make simple loops like this is very useful for things. For instance, you can use these simple loops over slideshows that you create with your photos. You can use it as background music to your videos that you create in iMovie and then make DVDs with in iDVD. And it's very useful to make your own loops rather than using the canned ones which may sound familiar to other Mac users. 
Hope you like this look at chapter 20 of the book, the MacMost.com Guide to Switching to the Mac. It's not just for switchers, it's for anybody that wants to get more out of their Mac. You can find out more at MacMost.com book. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.